following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, rockers and cockers? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to join us on the east side of Music City, USA. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button. Smash the like button. Throw me some horns down in the comments when you're done watching the video. Also, follow us on any and all the social media we have linked down below. If you have a band, song, or a video that you'd like me to check out, the Discord server is your one-stop shop for all things Wildside. Get on over there. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction request. Drop a link, a brief description. I'll get to it when I can. Today's Discord suggestion is coming from Greg. Says, hey man, I really dug that Jet Black Roses the last time. Check out their new one. So today we are back with local boys, Jet Black Roses, and we're checking out their latest track. This was just a week ago this thing dropped, and this is called King of Fools. It's their official video. Let's check it out on the wild side. throwback sound that is jet black roses king of fools their official video boys out of atlanta 
and they do some work um, here in Nashville as well. I love the throwback revival sound. I said this about them the last time. This is a great sound coming out of a trio. There's a thick bodied sound that comes out of this trio that I really dig. The throwback revival sound I'm talking about when I hear Jet Black Roses, and I've discussed this previously in my live streams, that there is this new wave coming out that is capturing, and that's why I call it the revival sound. They are capturing this really fun time in rock and roll, this really bright colored guitars with a nice bounce bass and a really good rhythmic drum beat to take you through and cadence you through the track. On top of that, great storytelling. This is a track that reminds me a lot of, um, like, Give Me Three Steps, Uneasy Rider, good storytelling. When you have good storytelling on top of really nice, thickly textured music, it bounces you right through that track. And that revival sound that I'm talking about, when the song started, in my head, I'm, I'm already hearing Black Crows. I'm hearing um, Brother Kane, Screaming Cheetah Wheelies. Um, you're going back to like Wet Willie, Atlanta Rhythm Section, um, Little Feet. You're really hearing these guys, man. There is a Georgia sound. And so you know, if you're ever in Macon, Georgia, um, A, you should go to Rose Hill Cemetery and visit the boys. And there's a, a museum there, the Macon, um, the Georgia Music Museum or something like that. Well, Macon, Georgia is where Capricorn label was formed. It was formed by Jerry Wexler and Atlantic to give Dwayne Allman a place to record after he was done working at Muscle Shoals with people like Aretha Franklin and Wilson Pickett, and then he worked with Clapton. So the, there's a very identifiable sound that comes from central Georgia in, in, in Georgia. These guys are the next generation. They are the grandchildren of that uh, Molly Hatchet, great storytelling almond brothers wet willy southern rock revival vibe that you get from these bands and what, what i really like about the track is the rhythm guitar that's really sweet man that's a really sweet menthol well done on the production too by the way um i have to give them that because everything i talk about music being i say it simply it's just layers of sound but how do you layer that sound? How much do you leave in? How, how forward do you make the sounds, right? How forward do you put up the drums? How forward do you put the guitar and the vocal tracks? Very important to how the song carries through. This song is bright and it has a bounce. So everything in there has to balance or it'll careen out of track. And everything is balanced perfectly. The lead guitar, he's using the slide, yeah, on a flying V, but he captures that Taj Mahal, that um, wow, the Roy Clark kind of squeal that you're looking for in that Southern rock. And that's what I mean about that revival. They just really do a good job of capturing that tone. So when people are saying, you know, hey, man, what happened with rock and roll? You're starting to hear it come back. Jet Black Roses are a great example of that revival feeling. Straightforward, great storytelling, great melody, great harmonies, fun. They look like they're having fun. I'll bet their live shows are a blast. I bet they put on a great live show. They look like they're having fun just doing what they're doing. And that all comes through in the music. It adds an extra layer. I call it grandma's mashed potatoes. In the South, Mama makes a different kind of mashed potatoes, man. It, her, her mama's mashed potatoes are better than any mashed potatoes you're going to eat. Why? Because mama loves making food for you. You just like cooking because it feeds you. No, 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 no. Mama makes a different kind of mashed potato. And you can hear that. You can hear mama's mashed potatoes in Jet Black Roses. And I know that it sounds silly. I know that it sounds inane or trite, but I mean that in the heaviest of compliments, that you can hear the love that they have for what they do in their music. It's three and a half minutes. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. It leaves you wanting more. And that's what makes a song and a band futurely iconic and great and big. 
is because people enjoy them enjoying what they do. So I look forward to more coming out from Jet Black Roses. And I'll be honest with you, man, if they come through Nashville, that's a show I'd pay for to see these three guys because they get a lot of sound out of three people. It's it's really crazy how much that stands out to me. There's a depth and a thickness and a body to their music that three people shouldn't be able to get. Um, it's really cool how they how they pull that out. So well done to Jet Black Roses. Thank you very much, Greg, for that suggestion. Again, Jet Black Roses, Roses King of Fools, just a straightforward Southern rock song. And man, that just butters my biscuit. So if you, like Greg, have a song, band, or a video that you'd like me to check out, get over to the Discord server. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests. Drop a link, a brief description. I'll get to it when I can. Make sure you're following on any and all the social media. I have the link down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification button. Smash the like button. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me on the east side of Nashville, Tennessee. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. (laughs) 